Hello, I'm Asif Farouk of Finextra and we're here at the Swift Business Forum and today I'm with Russell Saunders of Lloyds Banking Group. Russell, thank you for joining me. What's the cost of achieving the required standard of KYC and know your business? Well, knowing your, the banking correspondent relationship is really important because it's a fabric of all banking. And the cost perhaps could be as much financially as £25,000. But it's more than the financial cost, it's the time and the effort and indeed the challenge that it puts on them, the strain it puts on that relationship because every file could extend to 1,000 pages of Word document. Um, and just keeping, uh, achieving that standard and then keeping it up to date is hugely um, distracting to the whole of our relationship with our correspondent bank, banking clients. Okay, uh, what needs to be done to make a KYC registry actually possible? Well, we have Swift, who are great partners, that are in a, in a unique place um, to encourage all of their correspondent banks to participate in, in, in this new registry. Um, they have created the infrastructure, they created the um, opportunity, and now it's for the banks to grasp that opportunity and uh, challenge themselves uh, to share all the data with SWIFT that they, would, they want to ask of their correspondent banking relationships. If everyone does that, then we have a, a unique opportunity to reduce this cost of compliance. Okay, and lastly, what are the long-term benefits of that initiative? Well, the reducing the costs and the man hours in just achieving the documentation, um, evidence in the relation we have our correspondent banking, just re taking that away and reinvesting that effort into building a great relationship with our correspondents is just immense. Um, but apart from that, the, we need an active, vibrant correspondent banking network to enable global trade to prosper compliantly and transparently. Um, so the, the opportunity is immense and it just needs us to really get behind this over the next three years um, to, to create an investment which will stand us in good stead for many years to come.